and the team has been working hard to make rapid improvements and launch them quickly. We launched BARD as a limited access experiment on a lightweight large language model to get feedback and iterate. The most revolutionary technology we're developing right now is AI. AI helps people, businesses, and communities realize their full potential by assisting in the earlier diagnosis of diseases and allowing users to access information in their native tongue. One of the best creations of AI is BARD. Today, we're going to discuss Google's new BARD AI. AI creates new possibilities that have the potential to greatly enhance the lives of billions of people. The greatest AI computations currently double in size every six months, considerably exceeding Moore's law. At the same time, big language models and sophisticated generative AI are catching people's attention all across the world. According to Ricardo Michael Reyes, Chief Silence Officer and co-founder of AI business Erudite, we have a lot of information on the internet, but you typically have to Google it, then read it, and then do something with it. Now that you have this resource at your disposal, you may process the entire internet and all of the data it contains to find the solution to your query. As you collaborate with BARD, you'll be able to tap into services from Google and extensions with partners to let you do things never before possible. Google BARD is an AI-powered chatbot solution that uses machine learning and natural language processing to mimic human conversations. BARD can be implemented into websites, messaging services, or applications to answer user questions in a realistic, natural language manner in addition to enhancing Google search. The Pathways Language Model 2, Palm 2, a language model launched in late 2022, is the foundation on which Google BARD is constructed. Transformer, a Google neural network architecture unveiled in 2017, serves as the foundation for both Palm and the model that came before it, Google's language model for dialogue applications technology. Due to Google's open source release of Transformer, it has served as the foundation for various generative AI tools, such as GPT-3 language model used in ChatGPT. BARD was created with search in mind and seeks to make it possible for more natural language queries to be accepted as search terms. The artificial intelligence of BARD is honed using conversations that sound natural. It gives context to the responses rather than just a list of answers. It is also intended to assist with follow-up inquiries, new search terms. The first iteration of BARD used a lighter model version of Lambda, which scales to more concurrent users with less computer power. By utilizing the Palm language model, BARD is able to respond to user queries in a more visually appealing manner. Google started granting consumers access to BARD on March 21st, 2023, and asked them to sign up on a wait list. Google canceled the backlog and made BARD available in more than 180 nations and territories on May 10, 2023. On February 6, 2023, Google BARD was first teased with an ambiguous release date. Many people thought that Google rushed BARD out before it was ready because of the pressure from ChatGPT's success and favorable coverage. It's amazing to see the rate of progress so far. More advanced models, so many new capabilities, and the ability for even more people to collaborate with BARD. And when we're ready to move BARD to our Gemini model, I'm really excited about more advancements to come. For instance, it provided a terribly incorrect response to a query during a live demonstrated by Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai. What new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? A user questioned BARD during the session. According to BARD's statement, the JWST took the very first pictures of a planet outside of our own solar system. Astronomers promptly pointed out on social media that BARD's response was false by pointing out that the first photograph of an exoplanet was captured by an Earthbound observatory in 2004. The following day, Google's market worth dropped $100 billion as a result of an embarrassing error. Users must have a personal Google account and be at least 18 years old. BARD offers its services in 180 nations and territories and intends to grow. As was clear from its initial demo, BARD, like any AI chatbot, must be taught and educated to provide the right response from incorrect or misleading information. Given that there is constantly new material to learn, AI training is a never-ending, computational, costly process. Google hasn't indicated that it will charge for use as of this writing. Despite its cloud computing business, Google has never charged clients for services. Currently, it is assumed that BARD will be incorporated into Google's default search engine and that access to it would be unrestricted. Both Google BARD and OpenAI ChatGPT are AI chatbots, which means they're created for human interaction using machine learning and natural language models. Both make use of a machine learning model called a large language model, LLM, for generating and constructing conversational text. 
Due to ChatGPT's enormous success, businesses like Microsoft, which invested in OpenAI, have decided to permanently use artificial intelligence in their line of products. The newest chatbot from OpenAI, GPT-4, will soon help automate Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Word. Other businesses have begun to enter the market, including Google, which just released BAR, a generative chatbot with many of the same features as ChatGPT. A recent study by the tech giant IBM found that 42% of businesses are still exploring the potential of artificial intelligence for the future, which is expected to include virtual assistants that employees can use to carry out tasks on their behalf. BARD continues to rapidly improve and learn new abilities, and we want to let people around the world try it out and share their feedback. Currently, 35% of businesses are actively using AI in their day-to-day -day operations. In fact, it's predicted that voice assistants powered by AI will be used by 8 billion people by the end of 2023. People will no longer need to be trained to perform certain tasks. Instead, they're going to be taught how to use AI tools to complete those tasks, according to Reyes. For instance, in the past, managers had to teach staff members how to create PowerPoint presentations. They won't even need to know how to use PowerPoint anymore. All they need to know is enough to ask the AI the proper questions. According to a current report from a resume service according to a study by Resume Builder, 46% of candidates actively use ChatGPT to create their cover letters and resumes, and the outcomes were extremely favorable. Using application materials created by AI, 78% obtained an interview, and 59% were ultimately recruited. With the help of generative AI, ChatGPT can create creative content. Users may, for instance, ask if it can create a thesis on AI's benefits. Google Bard does too, despite having a slightly different purpose. BARD is designed to make search more natural and beneficial, and it does use fresh data into its solutions. However, ChatGPT can also be used to hone in a specific search. Microsoft and OpenAI reportedly agreed to a $10 billion deal in January to license ChatGPT and embed it into the Bing search engine in order to offer more conversational search results that are akin to Google BARD, as opposed to BARD, which is designed to support just Google. This allows for licensing of the ChatGPT by other search engines. One of the main differences between the two is that Google Bard's response will be based on current, up-to-date data, but ChatGPT's response will be based on data available up to 2021. ChatGPT must be able to respond to queries with current information rather than information that is two years old if it is to be successful search engine technology. OpenAI provides a plagiarism detection tool for instructors so they may catch students utilizing ChatGPT for homework projects. OpenAI is aware of the possibility of plagiarism with ChatGPT. There's currently no information on whether Google Bard has a plagiarism detection program of its own. Bard occasionally links to sources and cites further material in its reply. ChatGPT didn't appear out of thin air. Chatbots powered by AI have been available for a while, albeit in less flexible guises. Numerous startup businesses have been developing comparable chatbot technologies, but without the publicity that ChatGPT has, that's all for today's video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the notifications bell to get informed by our upcoming videos.